Hey, this is Andy Jenkins, and we have got a five-week series here for you that is titled Advance. Now, for those of you who've been around Oily App World for any length of time at all, and those of you who've, who've been around me, even kind of pre-Oily App, you know that the Advance is an event uh, that I helped host, help, help create it, was writing all the content for it uh, since back in 2000. I think we began that in 2014, and it morphed over time, made some changes, made some turns, and all of that content that we really developed and refined over time, uh, we put that into uh, a larger book. We put that into a workbook where we show you how to really uh, plan life and match up some of the essential oils that will really help you do that. Advance is all about moving forward from where you are to where you're designed to be in each area of life. I remember back when we did the live events, we would have men that came because it was only a men's event. We would have men that came and they they would walk away, most of them, uh, even though we were doing this in a platform that had been set up and launched in conjunction with Young Living Essential Oils, most of those men would leave and have no goal set about oils. And, and we absolutely loved it. They would leave with, with the goal of becoming a better husband, a, a, a better father, uh, becoming healthy. And, and sometimes that might involve some of what they were doing with the oils. Surely some of them got involved with the, with the family business. But, but the point is, life is so much bigger and broader than what you do for income, it's bigger certainly than what you do for a side hustle. It's bigger than just what you might do for a hobby or just one component of health. Now, certainly all those things are important, but life is so much grander than that. Your dreams are so much bigger than just one piece. And so we loved seeing guys come on board and literally just ignite on fire. Now, in Oily App Plus, there are, at this point, three, four courses related to that material. There, there is a one course called The Ladder, if you're a member of Oily App Plus. There's another one actually entitled Advance. There is a book, there's an audio book, all available in Oily App Plus. We uh, call Oily App Plus really the Netflix of essential oils because you pay a low fee. Uh, you can pay by the year and it's cheaper, or you can pay month to month and you get access to two new courses a month. You have access to the entire vault of online resources that is growing and accumulating every single month. And, and you can opt in and you can drop out at any time you want. There's no contract, but I tell you this, it is some of the best, easiest to understand, but goodness, deep diving resources uh, available, I, I think, and I'm, I'm kind of partial, anywhere. All right, so all of that intro said, I'll be back at the end with uh, some information on some free resources we've got for all of you. Uh, let me roll into this episode right here uh, that Dr. Jim Bob and I actually recorded on video. Here's the audio from one of the episodes about advance. Number two is this is material that we usually teach in an entire weekend. I think, Jim Bob, you came to advance was... It was three, wasn't it? In Kansas City? Three in Kansas City was my first. And from three to four, it changed. And the tone of it changed in large part because we started maneuvering everything around this content rather than what we had been doing before. And so, um, which we'll talk about why. This is kind of the first time we've taught this mixed audience, um, not in a weekend, compressed in an hour. And this is the first time we've ever matched up oils to the content. So, does that make sense? Yep, absolutely. All right. So here's here's what we do at the advance. Uh, when the advance started, it was originally created men's event uh, for guys that were in the young living world that were for the most part coming on. Some of them slowly, some of them quickly, trying to help women that were doing the business. Uh, for the most part, ironically, Young Living was started by a man that was a jouster, Indiana Jones esque type of guy. But that said, for all the manliness Gary uh, walked in, it's largely a women's world, which is kind of surprising, right? Um, and so a lot of the guys, they, they couldn't figure out, like, what do we do next or how do we move forward? And so the advance was created, the first one, just to get guys together to figure it out. 
never thought it would turn into a movement like it's turned into. Um, meeting in September, I think we're on number 12. It's coming up September the 7th. Number 13, right. planned for February, uh, dates and location, all that coming. Now, when it began, we started helping guys understand the compensation plan, understanding about the oils, understanding how they could help with the family business, all of those sorts of things. But as it progressed, here's, here's what we realized is the compensation plan is important and it's life changing in the sense of what money can do in the hands of good people, but it's not going to change your life. That sounds like double speak, but right. um, the oils are life changing, but there are more important things than the oils. And, and I know that sounds like <laughs> sacrilege to some of the people on here, but at the end of the day, it wasn't just what you did in the business. Products. It, the, those were part of your overall life. And so the more and more guys came and the more and more guys started talking and connecting, we started realizing man, the biggest issues weren't necessarily what your essential oil business was doing or not doing. That was important. And that could be your vehicle towards uh, financially getting in a better place. That could be your vehicle towards community and having a, you gave a phenomenal operation on that, Jim Bob, when you taught that 101 class in 10 minutes at the Nashville Advance. And you got up there and said a lot of people buy this kit and think they're just getting this health thing. But like what you didn't realize was you bought this kit, sat on the shelf for seven years, then you got out and you were surrounded by this community that when you busted up your leg, man, they just grabbed you and just caught you guys. Yeah. And so that's important. More yeah. important than the business itself. Um, sometimes walking in health more important than the oils. And we were seeing that guys had all these goals that were related to, but, but maybe they didn't know how to articulate them. They were related to, um, for some, some guys, it was crushing it, uh, with, with, with some kind of skill that they had been working on for years, whether it was, uh, hunting or fishing or going back to school to learn a certain trade for some guys, it was, they, they were struggling with their kids. They were crushing it in marriage. They're struggling with their kids. For some guys, fitness, man, like I told you my story, I gained a quarter of a pound a, a month for basically 15, 16 years. It's unnoticeable every 30 days, but you start looking pictures, you're five, you're 10. I'd blown up like the Goodyear blimp. So a lot of guys, same story, wanting to take care of their health. So that was a big area for goal. A lot of guys crushing in other areas, not in their marriage. Uh, so it really became this avenue where we started guys just, when you got to the advance, it was no pretense, no hype, um, no smoke and mirrors. Uh, I mean, technology, very minimal on purpose and guys are just raw. And as a result, guys were able to start helping each other move forward. And so we started articulating and creating a tool whereby that that could happen. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. No, it really was. I mean, you know, one of the biggest things that really came out of advance, and I remember in the first events I went to is uh, someone, uh, there was only like 25, 30 of us there at that advance. And now there's always over 150 at every one. But someone said, you know, like um, if, if we learn the comp plan and our families do great and we all get to roll crown diamond um, and, you know, as human beings, we don't get better and, and everything falls apart and we lose everything. It's not worth it. Like we're missing the point right. uh, if we do all this and find all this success in the business. And um, but we really lose ourselves in it. And so just taking these concepts to be able to say, hey, we're going to help you learn how oils work. We're going to help you learn how to support your wife in it. We're going to help you learn, you know, how to teach a class if you want to. But more than that, we want to help you become a better man, better, you know, better husband, better dad, uh, all of those things. Um, and, you know, Andy and I were talking about it not that long ago. And I was like, man, everybody needs this content. Like, like this is, this could help someone become a better mom, better wife, uh, better business owner, right. better son, daughter. I mean, it really does apply to everything. So, well, I mean, to put it put it in perspective, and then we'll start rocking through the content, is I, I think when we were in Nashville, Advanced 6.0, 175 guys in the room, you know, it grew, I think Minnesota, uh, what was that, 10, uh, I, I spoke that one was 300-ish guys in the room, and for at 6, I think you were the only discussion we had, the only talk we had on oils, you presented the 101 class, I think in 
Minnesota. I remember that one. Danny Hill spoke about the oils. He spoke maybe 15 minutes. So it, it got to where the oils were the vehicle and they, they were a component of health, but it was about moving forward in every area of life. So the first step on doing that is really defining what it is that you want to do. The first step on any dream. So let's kind of move into the content with this right now. The first step in any dream is defining where it is that you want to go. Like what, what is the goal that's out there? A lot of people talk about being held back by the man. They talk about being held back by genetics. They talk about being held back by lack of just fill in the blank, lack of opportunity, lack of education. And, and really, you know, if you get down to it, a lot of people can't define, can't actually articulate what they're being held back from. And so the first thing that you've got to do is really articulate, really kind of push out there and go, okay, what is it that I can not just realistically see for myself. And, and, and I would say not, not even just making up some pie in the sky, crazy thing, but realistically then push it out a little bit. And, and you can always kind of rearticulate this and keep pushing it out. But, but what is like, that, you know, uh, almost unattainable type thing that's in the future, whether it's weight loss, whether it's a business goal, whether it's something with your marriage, something with your kids, something with the career goal, something with the financial goal, what is it? And you start articulating that and we define that. We may actually even have a graphic for that. I've got like a little cheat sheet of some of them that are here. Yeah, step number one, uh, you got that one right there. Like looks like, I'm trying to get it on the screen. Looks like the, hold on, where are you at? Looks like where do you want to go? Oh, okay. No, I was on the wrong page. I got this. I got this. I'm running these slides, people. Y'all. It's so funny. Like, we leave you with all the tech stuff on this. Here. There's a ladder right there. Right, here we go. Here we go. I got you. Yeah, so right there, where, you know, where do you want to go? So you know, really think about that. Where do you want to go? And, and and just kind of show them the, other, the next graphic right there, Jim Bob, if you can pull it up. Um, we just kind of say this step number one is is really admitting where you are, still all part of step number one, admitting where yeah. you are and deciding where you want to go. Both of those. You've got to say, hey, I want to. Five years ago, I was 50 pounds heavier. I saw myself full length in the, in the mirror, not a stitch of clothing on. And finally, it's just like, oh, golly, I had not admitted to myself where I was. Now, articulate where I wanted to go. I wanted to lose, you know, at the time, 35 pounds, not not 50, not 100, not look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, not you know, something that's attainable, but just a little bit out there. Okay, so that's where I want to be. Here's where I am. You got to own both both things. And and then we reverse engineer it. We build a bridge, and I think you got a graphic for that too. We build yeah, a bridge backwards from the location where we want to be back to where we are. And what that does is it ensures that the steps that you take will actually get you there. So we articulated a lot longer in this book, and we'll put a link up later on where you can get it. In fact, we'll give away one of these tonight at the end of we'll, you know, send it out. That's right. But, but it, it's kind of like, okay, I want to be uh, so realistic business-wise, and let's just, like, let's just use Young Living realistic-wise. Um, everybody watching this video is not going to be Royal Crown Diamond. That's not going to happen. Yep. Um, but what I'm mean, and that sounds like such a killjoy, right? But what's realistic and what's what's a little bit more than realistic? Okay, so you might say, "Well, I, I can see myself like getting to silver." So let's let's set the goal of gold. Yep. Okay, because once we get there, we can always redraw another goal, right? We can always like redo this again. So okay, so what has to be true for me to hit gold? Well, I've got to have a certain number of legs. What has to be true of that? Well, I've got to have a certain number of builders. What has to be true for that? Well, I've got to have a certain number of people. What has to be true of that? Oh, I've got to have a certain number of people in ER. What has to be true of that? I've got to have a certain number of classes. You just start rebuilding that bridge backwards from where you want to be to where you actually are now. Does right. that make sense? It's true with every area of life. Yeah. Well, it's really true. I mean, like even taking something as basic as just going on a vacation, like unless you really know where you are, then you really don't know how to get anywhere. You have to start with that. Like I'm in Dallas, you know, you're in you're in Alabama. So it's like you're in Birmingham. It's different. And then then that next step of going, well, where do you want to be? You know, if I want to go to Birmingham, I got to know where I'm at. Otherwise, when I get on to book a flight on American and it says the first step it asks for is 
where are you leaving from? What's your airport you're leaving? If you're like, well, I don't know. Well, you really can't go the next step. Then it's choosing that next thing. Well, I want to go to Birmingham. Okay, well, then you choose that location. Then then once you know where you are and where you want to go, it's the logistics of what time you want to go. Then you you start, like you said, uh, Andy, of like, okay, if I want to get the silver, if I want to get the gold, if I want to have a happy marriage and my marriage isn't happy right now, if I want to have healthy kids and my kids aren't healthy right now, if I want – anything. Like if I want to be able to run a mile and I can't run down the street right now, then what are all the things in the middle of that, that I have to do in order to build that bridge back and uh, actually get to that goal? Well, and that's where a lot of people lose it is people confuse the goal with the actions required to get to the goal. Right. And, uh, you know, like, I want to leave well, they, they confuse the result with the actions that create the result. And so one of the things we have people do at the advance is kind of write down all the actions that are required. And usually one of those actions, you'll kind of see it. It'll stand out. We call it the catalytic action. It's it's small, but has this disproportional amount of influence relative to the size that it is. So yeah. with, with your business, it might be. Uh, you know, getting up and doing your downline viewer every single day and recording your stats because that's going to highlight stuff to you. Oh, I need to teach classes. Oh, I need to reach out to this person. Oh, I need to, you know, that might be it. For me, when I was losing weight, it was actually tracking what I was eating and doing every day because that helped me make good decisions and it helped me see my progress. Yeah, you focus um, on it. Yeah. So it, it it depends, but it's it's important that you kind of nailed on those actions and then do it. And also it's important to, and maybe this is kind of the last point, and then we'll take kind of the oil to use for this is it's, it's important, I think, to realize that there's different ways to get to the same thing. Right. So a lot of times we assume uh, now, now success is a recipe, I think. So there are certain things that you do to get the same result. Like everybody that can bake a chocolate cake can bake it by following certain steps. You know, healthy marriage has certain steps, raising certain kids a certain way, certain steps, building a business, right. There's certain things to do, certain not to do, but there's different ways, even in that tension, there's different ways to lose weight. There's different ways to grow the business. Uh, Amazon and Nordstrom are two great examples of that because both of those are incredible. They're at the top of the game in customer service. The what for both of them, the dream, the big idea is a quintessential customer service experience, uh, but Amazon does it primarily online. Nordstrom doesn't do it online. They do it primarily through a big box retail where you walk in. So just kind of shows you, you can still be you and still do it in your way. Yep. It's just important that you actually take action and do it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think uh, like you had talked about earlier, it really just applies to everything. And uh, you can have, we were just talking about this before we got on, you can have big vision and you can have big dreams and you can have all of the gusto in the world. But if you don't know what your what is and you don't make action on that, what, I mean, there's no starting point. Like you just don't go anywhere. And I think that's so key. What you said, Andy, about the catalytic. Um, yeah, we'll get to that. I'll get to that. I want to say this. Like we, oh, like, hey, we got time. You're to speed me up and you're trying to get to the end. But um, he said he talked about the catalytic action, and um, I think especially in young living, I see this a lot in network marketing. But I think this is key in relationships and everything too. There are so many things that you try to do that is just running uh, in place, but you're not right. actually making any progress. You're running on a treadmill, but you're not going anywhere, you know? Right. Uh, and so you feel like you're working really hard and then you get off and you're in the exact same spot you were in because you did all the things, but you didn't do the thing to actually make all of the dominoes fall and to really get progress. Uh, and I think a lot of that comes back to like really taking time and stopping and going, okay, where am I at? Just what we talked about, mapping out where do I want to go and looking at, okay, what are the the things in the middle that need to happen in order to get me there. But instead of just starting to throw mud at a wall and grab all those things, Oh, I'm going to start teaching classes. I'm going to do online classes. I'm going to get this account. I'm going to start an Instagram account. I'm going to get t-shirts made. I'm going to get whatever, like instead of doing all this crazy stuff, what's the one thing that you can start with that's going to get the most progress and really get the ball rolling. I mean, that saves so much frustration, so much time. It gets you going in the right direction that it's, it's crazy town. So love that. Rarely do you go wrong by stopping back, pausing and getting some, some uh, just to use the word of the oil route to use some clarity on it. Yeah. And then once you get that, not pausing long, taking action on that. Yeah. It's really taking a breath to get your bearings, right? It's not like, you know, stopping per se, it's no. slowing down to go, okay, like, where am I at? What's going to be the most beneficial? And then let's move forward on that. But yeah, let's talk yeah. about that. This is, this is great. I'm going to switch. Clarity. 
to clarity because I love that we've done this on this uh, part of it to make this practical for everybody. You tell them about clarity, man. You're the essential. Go okay, cool. I want you to hop on to listen to you, not to me. Well, whatever. They're like, dude, uh, Andy's in here talking about it. Yeah, cool yeah, that's why I'm in here. I don't know about the rest of everybody. But hey, you know, the thing we wanted to do for you guys with this content on top of giving you the, the roadmap that we love to use with the men that we work with and we use in our own lives to really clarify our goal setting and clarify where we're at to become better in any area. Um, you know, we, we utilize your young living business just to use that as an example. But whether it's your marriage or your health or your weight or, or anything, your business. But when you look at it, uh, being able to take an oil in each section and, uh, and apply it to have that application and the actual hands-on uh, experience of utilizing the oil in each setting is huge. So for this section, we pick clarity because, again, if you're not clear on your what, if you're not clear on the first step of what it is you're doing, and let's say, uh, and you can have lots of these what's, like let's say you've got a category of what is your young living business, and then you have where you want to go, you have where you are now, and then your different steps you need to take to get there. And then another what could be, um, you know, relationships, whatever that is, and starting to put stuff down there. Um, you know, if you don't have a clear what, like we talked about, you don't have a clear starting point, then it's really hard to get to the next step. So clarity is an incredible oil that I love that literally drives focus. Like that's it. it it's one that helps to clear a lot of the uh, fog out of the way, drive focus and allow you to really uh, key on where uh, your next steps are. Yeah. And that's uh, to circle back to what you just said. There's the points right there in that book. We actually have people rock through that. Okay, so get clarity in your relationship with your spouse, significant other. Get clarity in your relationship with your kids, physical health, finances, friendships, faith life, whatever other area. Got clarity in it. Get focused. Drive it. Boom. Okay. All right. I hope you got something out of that. And as always, I would encourage you to just get a pen and paper and make sure that you grab the entire series. So often on these podcasts, we tend to release them in series, not just one-offs. Occasionally we do that, uh, but I would encourage you to go get the entire series. Uh, one thing that you might be interested in listening to that was a one-off related to this, I'll put the link in the show notes. It was my reflections on Forward, which was our New Year event where we taught a lot of this information. And so that was kind of a standalone episode that I recorded before we launched into all these new 2021 series. Uh, Again, the link is in the show notes. Listen to the lessons I learned from Forward because it's really kind of this meta of putting an event on about all of this advanced material and how you adapt and change and then just move forward. All right, here's the promised freebie. If you go into the show notes as well, there is a link to the free advance planner. Uh, Several years uh, into the advance, as we were teaching some of the concepts that you've now listened to, uh, one of the guys, I was was interacting with him, one, one of the guys is now on the Oily App team, and he said, you know, I really think it would be great to have a tool where we could schedule and actually integrate what we're learning into all of life. And again, as I I told you, men were leaving the event and setting goals uh, about becoming better husbands and better fathers. And the trick is, how do you schedule that? How do you create a resource that empowers you? In your case, might be becoming a a stronger wife, a a more connected spouse, a a more engaged friend, someone with a dynamic faith life. I mean, it it works in any area of life, weight loss, or or just getting stronger, or running a marathon, or like it, it works building a business. It works anywhere. And the result was a planner built around the concepts that we were actually developing. And so we've made that available for you absolutely free. You can download it. You can print it, reprint it as many times as you want. We do have a hardback version for sale. That information is on the same webpage where you download one absolutely free. Go to the show notes, oilyapp.com slash free planner PDF. That information is there for you. I'm Andy Jenkins. I'll be back next week with another incredible lesson. Thanks so much for joining me.